Hi, I'm Megan with the blog Our Handcrafted Life, and today I'm going to show you how to make this outdoor science discovery center. So the first thing that I did was build the frame. I started with this rectangle here, and then I added the legs on the outside. I built the frame with cedar 2x3 so that it'd be really strong, a really strong structure, and then I'm going to cover it in the coal lumber and the cedar 1x4 planks that we got. So you can see the rectangle structure that I did here. I built all that first, and then I added the legs on the front. And the legs on the back are longer because they're going to make up the back of the research station. Hi, Bubs. Are you working? Are you working hard? Yeah, he helped uh, by coloring on some of the structural pieces. But the dimensions of this project are really adjustable. You can make them really whatever you want. I wanted to build mine to fit in between two fence posts. So it's 50 inches long and about 17 inches deep because that's the size of the lumber that I had so I didn't have to rip any boards. But you could make it shorter, you could make it longer to fit whatever space you have. And I made it about 25 inches high. Um, we have a play kitchen inside that's 24 inches tall and um, it's just a little bit too short for our daughter who's a really tall four-year-old. So I wanted to make this one just slightly higher so that it can grow with them for a little bit longer. So I'm using a piece of scrap wood to keep the stretchers the same height on either side. So I cut pieces 50 inches long for the top and for the base down here, and then I cut some um, side apron pieces that were about 14 and a half inches long. Now we're going to nail them in. So we finished this project last night after it got too dark to film. We added the planks along the back wall and then we also added an extra support beam on the top as well as a shelf in the middle so you know you have a place to put extra treasures. There are always too many treasures. We also added these three hooks along the center to have a place to hang their vintage science flashcards. Um, I made a blog post and a YouTube post about these last week so you can find those over on ourhandcraftedlife.com or on our YouTube page. We added a fourth hook right here on the end so they could hang an apron or their discovery vest or whatever they want to hang. That's really all it took to complete this project, so let's see how they like it. This project turned out great. I love encouraging pretend play in my kids, and we didn't have a ton of ways to encourage scientific exploration, that kind of um, pretending. So I think that this is gonna serve them really well. They're gonna learn to explore and discover the world around them in just a little bit of a different way. 
Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment below. And if you want to see more ways to live simply and create beautiful things, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.